I see a pig. I see a pig. I see spots. He's wood. He's large. <laughs> Very large. He's handmade. I kind of like him. Ugh, is he missing? He's missing an ear. Ah, now he's missing another ear. It's a special day and we, and I say we, because I'm with this crazy chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to meet with Mike, Mikey Bags of Money, mm -hmm. who is streaming live at Savers right now. And we, oh, we're gonna give him a hand. We're gonna give him a hand! <laughs> oh, because, <laughs> because he has his chick on a stick with him, also known as my stalker. So, uh, he, he adopted my stalker. Now he's bringing her shopping. So we'll see how that goes. But I also wanted to show you, I am wearing something that was gifted to me. Look at, look at, is that coming through? Is it coming through with the glowy? It's pretty glowy. 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 Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It is. I can't see the camera. No, if I'm just showing you something I shouldn't yeah, yeah, be. <laughs> yeah. It's not just cleavage. <laughs> Um, yes, that was gifted to me by uh, Crystal, who makes the most amazing jewelry out of broken glass, Pyrex. You know, I've talked about her a lot because I absolutely love what she does. And uh, so, yeah, I got a turtle. I got a turtle necklace. Uh, so uh, that means I do have my black light with me this time, too. So we're going to see if we can find anything good on the shelves that glows. Mm -hmm. All right, Carrie. Let's go. Let's get shop done. Let's get shop done. I am telling you, she follows me everywhere I go. And it's not me this time. And it's in <laughs> Carrie's. It's not her this time. Oh, wait. I think I know the reason. <laughs> she insisted on coming. She insisted on coming. Yes. Mikey has brought Doreen shopping with us. But that's okay because I'm going to give her a hand. We're going in. <laughs> All right, we are starting this store in the art. These are dated 1981, and I like that there are two of them. It's a wood duck. Can't quite tell what that name is on there. Eagle Valley Farms Frames Farms Frames. Okay, so $5.99, but we do get 25% off today. So let me grab the other one too. We've got like a whole duck family. This one is 1979. Oh, this one, you can read it. It's W. Morgan. So I'm going to grab those first thing in the cart. I know I say this every time I'm in a Savers, but I totally love the way that they lay out their art because it just makes it so easy to shop. <gasps> oh, look at, I don't know if you guys can see without the glare. Look at that. It's like textured underneath there. Like the rocks, the rocks look real. I'm gonna grab that because I kind of love it. I'll get it down and show it to you better. Okay, I've got it down here now and in the cart. It needs to be, I don't know if they purposely didn't stretch it tight so that the waves look a little like they're rolling, but this is really cool with the, with the texture. All right, $12.99, that one's in the cart. And I also spotted this one. Now you know, Carrie kind of likes the skulls. He's kind of cool. He's like, you know, one of those Hobby Lobby type pieces, but for six bucks, you can turn this into 20 to 25, really easy, maybe even a little more. Of course, I always check all the comps and I show everything in my recap at the end of the video, but I'm just off the top of my head, as I'm picking this, this is 20 to $25 all day long. As are the cows. This one is 4.99, so we're gonna get that one. Yes, and then that one, 
is also $4.99. So she's coming home with me too. Here I can give you a little better shot of her now. Look how she's got like the texture also, just to give her a little, little depth. Very cute. All right, there we go. Now I know I've been saying I'm not buying art. I'm not buying art, but sometimes you just have to buy art. <laughs> These are really nice too. They are um, little vintage shadow box type art with dried flowers. Very 70s. They are $4 each. I'm going to get those as well. Okay, you guys tell me if I'm leaving something that you would have picked up. I know I'm looking, I'm looking at the silhouette woman. She's pretty cool too. But I'm more of like the cute animals and beautiful landscape kind of gal. And that's a really big item also. Oh, do you see it? Do you see it hiding behind the enjoy the ride? That looks like a Ruan Manning. Is it? It sure is for $6.99. That's one. I can't even show you the whole thing until I set it down here on my cart but that one too all right I hear Carrie laughing in the distance wait till she sees all the art <laughs> she might she she might kill me because you know she's the one who does the shipping so she might have something to say about it all right do I see Anything else I must have? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a perfect sign. We have an end cap filled with plates. And I'm looking because there's a couple of them that kind of pique my interest. Christmas 1985. It's an Avon. Okay. Uh, what I was thinking that it could possibly be is like a Kaiser. K-A-I-S-E-R, which is a super good brand to be on the lookout for. That's a little piece of restaurant wear under here. I can tell just by how thick it is and rounded. And it is Walker China. That's interesting. I have not heard of Walker China. I've heard of Buffalo and Syracuse, but not Walker. So there's a new one for me to look up and get acquainted with. And then there's some cute little souvenir plates, but they don't do a whole lot. And this is, this is cute, but if it was 99 cents, I'd probably be grabbing it. But for $3.99, I'll let somebody else have it that one. All right, we got dolls, dolls, and more dolls. I don't see anything that uh, makes me have to even touch it. All right, we have a SpongeBob SquarePants um, traffic light. That I'm going to take over to Mikey because that might be his cup of tea if that sells for good money. Let's see. The shelves are pretty packed here, which I like, and we did really, really well here last time. That was a Douglas little bear. The wings are a little ragged, but this, this is a cool piece. Incole is the, the word coming to my mind here. I don't know. See, it doesn't have any way to hang it, which makes me think this was a lid, possibly for a like a jewelry box that they make. At $9.99, I think I'm going to, I'm going to leave that one. I'm gonna leave that one. This is very chipped up, but I wanted to take a peek because it looks very 50s. And it is Steubenville. Oh, you know what? I think this was here the last time we were here. Um, I'm really drawn to the blue flowers, the blue and pink, but with that chip, that one, that one has to stay. It has to stay. Oh, I see horses in a snow globe. Oh, and I see a bird for $4.99. We're getting quite a few of those kind of birds, so I'm gonna leave that one. 
Vandor, 1996 on the horses. The water is a little, little dark. It's actually unicorns. Mm, unicorns can be really, really good. It's marked here as well. What does that say? Spencer Gifts. Came from Spencer Gifts. Oh, I used to love that store. You know what? I'm going to put this one in the cart and I'm going to look it up as well. Oh, a David Bowie song just came on. Oh, it's Billy Idol. My bad. But. Come on, who didn't dance like this back in the day? All right, Carrie just informed me that yellow is the color of the day. We have a little bunny on a nest. $6.99, so 25% off of that would be, let me do the math in my head real quick. It's still gonna be like five bucks-ish. Look at, look at what she's picking up. Look what she's picking up. So what I told them was there's nowhere to, no way to hang it. So I think it came off of, it's a, like a lid to a box and it's 10 bucks, so. But this can go in my Easter live sale coming up. Carrie, Carrie just found the man who was supposed to be her husband. <laughs> All right, this is an interesting looking piece. I was hoping that it was enamel on copper, but it's not, it's pottery. But what is that mark? Oh, it's Japan. It's Japan. Oh, see, Mike, Mike is uh, streaming live while I'm filming this video. So go back and watch that if you uh, weren't participating in that. Tiny gives a whole Jesus new perspective. Oh, I found poo. Oh, I found poo on the show. All right, I took a little intermission from filming to uh, do a few things over on Mikey's channel. So again, be sure you go check that out. Polystone animal frame figures, Greenbrier. That I have learned is dollar store. We will not be fooled again. This is a religious intaglio glass paperweight. Okay, we've got a stained glass angel. She's kind of nice. Usually they're candle holders, but she's just all on her own. Hmm. This is the kind of item that I know in my live sales I can sell really well, but I will put a value with the recap of what this brings on eBay as I pick her up. Is that a is that a rooster on there? I think I think it is. See it? I know it's hard. It's hard to see. Oh, it's only a dollar twenty-five. It's it's really nice quality. It's a frosted glass candle holder. Um, I know Blanco makes like these discs not like attached to this, but it's got kind of that look and vibe to it for me. So for a buck and a quarter, I'm picking that up. And this little guy is kind of nice. I think he's made of wood. I'm pretty sure he's wood. I'm looking for some wear under there. Yeah. So you can kind of see the outline of a wood grain. And amazingly, he has all of his antlers. So we're gonna pick him up. Here is a single bookend with an old car. This can do pretty good, but I'm not, it's not really like, it doesn't bring me joy. And that definitely does not bring me joy, as you know. This guy kind of brings me joy. He's interesting, he's like, he's like a, paper mache but he's not but he's made to look like a paper mache and he says happy easter it's kind of cute but he's big it's kind of big so i'm gonna leave him and he doesn't really fit my personal decor we got a gas station gas station gas pump mm. this part is a little rough on both sides otherwise i might pick that up because it's just Kind of a novelty you don't see much. 
That is a pair of whales, and I'm really sad that it's chipped because, oh, and it's missing a fin too. Oh, because I have this theme up in my master bathroom. I've got a poodle that is made in China. Just wanted to make sure. It's got its original little tag too. It's Oh, it's an ornament. That's why. Got some cute little birds coming out of a birdhouse there. And then this piece is quite interesting. It's um, obviously it's going to have some damage. Like you almost can't find these without damage, but it's a handcrafted piece out of clay and all of these little petals look like they were individually done. And I, I, I've said this before, like I really don't like shipping these just because it can get totally through the mail and your customer can potentially break it as they're unpackaging it because they're just so super fragile. Even tissue paper can get hung up and, and pull one of these petals and cause a chip. So, and I'm, I'm just speaking from experience because I used to sell those a lot and I have just decided it's not worth going through anymore. That says Arizona, Arizona souvenir. Ooh, that looks very 50s. Pottery. Oh, it's really crazed up and cracked. Um, and most of these I find do not have a name on them. Ugh, it's really cracked. That's, that's too bad. Uh, these are the kind of things that people would put the uh, flamingo figurines in, the little flamingo statues. So it's supposed to like signify a pond of water. And then you just put your flamingos in there. But if that had not been so cracked and chipped, I could even forgive the crazing on this. So this is crazing, that little crackling throughout there. Uh, and that's that crazing has been there a long time, as you can see by the staining in the little crackling. I can forgive that on a piece of this age, uh, but I can't forgive the actual cracks and the chips. So that's why I got to leave it behind. All right. I love their knickknack shelves here. Such interesting things. All is waiting to be found. Oh, there's another piggy bank. That one doesn't have a stopper. Oh, this bunny's still here. I believe this is the one I saw last time. Yep, the broken foot. Sorry, honey. You still, you know what though? I'm gonna give her a better spot on the shelf so that she gets some attention. There you go. You need to go home with somebody. Look at this cute little guy in the music box. Oh, goodness. Hello, spring. Actually, it says it's spring. Got an interesting creamer. Just says stoneware, Japan, on there. It's got a nice look with nice colors. It's $2.50. I really want to get back into making my flower arrangements and that's what I'm looking at this going that's a really good base for a flower arrangement I'm gonna grab it let's see I think this might match a piece that I got the last time we were here oops let me turn it so I can read it yeah Portugal so I picked up another piece of this and everybody in my comments was saying you missed a piece you missed a piece <gasps> I still get a chance at it. $5.99 minus 25%. These are really cute little bottles that someone made. They've got numbers on them. <laughs> so funny. It's like normally Carrie shops with me, but I, I think I think there's a bigger name here for her to shop with. <laughs> She's off shopping with Mikey. No, I see her over there. You see her over there? She's, oh, she's, she's concentrating. Let's stalk her. We're stalking her, look at her. She's, she is scouring those shelves. And doesn't even know that I'm watching her. We'll see. We'll see what ends up in her cart. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back to this. The Black Monk really interesting piece unfortunately 
there is a chip there and a chip on the bottom and it's just kind of a mess so we're gonna look it up and we're gonna see what it's all about but we're gonna leave it on the shelf I love to look things up even if I'm not buying them I spend so much time on research because I want to know what everything is so if I find it again I know whether or not to get it like this fire truck is amazing and this is something that would sell really well uh, at like an antique mall booth like an in-person kind of a sale and it's $8.99 and I'm pretty sure I can get 30 to 40 for that it does look like there might be a couple pieces missing but they're not enough to really take away from the coolness of the piece so yeah I'm gonna grab that oh boy unfortunately his ears are super broken yeah that's too bad <laughs> oh and it's too bad that one's broken too because that's pretty cool all right sometimes it works in my favor that <laughs> there's enough broken things that I don't overload the cart these are interesting they're wood painted cats the cool thing is Mike is live streaming so I can go over there and get an opinion from his live chat audience right now Let's see what they think about those cats Let's see, what else we got? That might be about it on this row. Hmm, cute little, little bat. I was looking to see if it might be vintage. It's not, it's a more modern piece. Okay, that's it for here. I don't know how I missed this when I was looking at this shelf the first time, but this is a really beautiful transferware mug and it is made by American Atelier at Home. It's a floral 12? Is that how you say that? I know, I've been schooled on it and I can't remember what you guys told me, but I think it's better than saying toily like I used to do. <laughs> um, again, this is a piece that if it's not worth buying for resale, I could definitely put a little flower arrangement in that. All right, tons of tins. These are odd. It's just a flora, flora bunda. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them together so someone sees that there is indeed a pair. And hopefully we'll buy those and give them a good home. Hmm, candle holders. This is kind of a cool handmade piece out of a horseshoe. Very rustic looking and it's only $2.50. So I think I'm gonna go get an opinion, but I'm pretty sure this is going in the cart. All right, let's see. I ended up giving that piece to Carrie who sells horseshoe stuff like crazy in her booth. These are pretty. I wonder who does those? Probably like a party light. And there was probably three at one point. I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure, but that would be my guess. All right, let's see. Any other good candle holders? No, she's giving me another fake book. She knows how I like the fake books. It's got a bird. I have so many of these right now, though. I'm going to I'm going to hand it back and use some discipline. You don't have to. Yeah. But thank you, thank you for, thank you for thinking of me. Ooh. Ooh. We have some Israel glass. Um, Reuven, Reuven, I believe is how you say it. Looks like watercolors, doesn't it? It's beautiful, $3.99 a piece. And then the plates here are also 
$3.99 a piece. Fortunately, we have that 25% off discount, which eases that $3.99 price a little bit. As I look at it, I think it might have been meant to have one of those little bowls for each plate, but I'm going to go ahead and pick them all up anyways. Alright, this is all their office supplies, which I go through rather quickly just to give up just a little once over. You guys know I do like to pick up my notepads and stuff this way, especially when they're like new. Oh, 2021 planner. Yep. Have to say, I had a couple of those that never came out of the package as well. Oh my goodness. Yep. Had such high hopes for 2021 and it just didn't pay off. <laughs> so never even got the planner out. What do you do? What do you do? I know what you do. You start over with a new year, 2022. I do. I have my planner going this year. I've actually written in it. I've actually planned things out. I'm actually having fun with 2022. There's some good things happening. Getting under here to this really nice red white and blue flag frame la vie i think i'm gonna pick that up we've got some patriotic holidays right around the corner and it's only 2.99 so yes and then i spotted these pier one imports beaded little set of frames and uh, it's 2.99 Minus 25%, so it's less than a dollar a piece for these little guys. So I'm going to grab those as well. So for me as a reseller, when I pick up something like that, if it doesn't have enough value to uh, list on eBay, I have things that I give away in my live sales. So that's how it works for me. But we'll see at the end when I do my recap if that one has resale value like a starched doily. Why am I finding all these starched doilies around town now? This one's actually kind of nice. They made it into a little basket. So it will be like $3. And if I remember correctly, when I was researching the last starched doilies, they were worth $15 to $25. So I'm going to grab that. All right, now we're into their vases or vases, depending how you say it. And I'm see this frosted little candle holder back here I'm gonna just take a closer peek at okay nothing exciting sometimes some of the frosted pieces can be your money so you always have to take a peek is that glass that is glass oh my goodness look at this feathered glass basket not exactly sure who makes that but that's a substantial substantial glass basket. I don't like shipping baskets like this. You gotta protect that handle and it's big and the hassle factor is just not there for the price that you can get for it. So that's how I make that decision as well. Even if I could get, you know, 30 bucks, let's say, maybe even 40, just the hassle of shipping that's gonna cost me a good 15 minutes of time. I've gotta store it until it sells. It's just simply, just simply not worth it for me. Your mileage may vary. Everybody has to run their business in the best way possible for them. All right, I'm not seeing anything else exciting here. So we're gonna move along. All right, I have actually sold something very similar to this before but it was vintage. That one's not vintage. It's cute, but it's, I don't think it has the value of the last one. All right, let's see. You really gotta watch closely because there's so many things tuxed, tuxed, tucked in between and betwixt. See, I was getting ready to say betwixt and the, the X slipped out before <laughs> I was ready. Okay, we've got some copper canisters. I wish we had the larger ones too. But you know what? $3.99 and $4.99, those are still a good buy and I'm picking them up. <gasps> Give me an L. That one's not very exciting. Oh, this one's a little more exciting. Give me an H. That one lights up. Ooh, maybe I can get a light up H for my shelf. <laughs> shelf for my wall. That's a heavy piece. 
bamboo serving came from Target. Wowza. Oh, wow. Look at all these letters under here. We got an R and a B and a W and a Boston Terrier. Spoiled rotten one lives here. It's peeling up or I might be tempted to grab that. But we will leave that and look at the little wood car. Oh, he's missing, missing some things. Let's see what this N looks like. It's just a pink N and we got an O. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Ooh, a wood spinner kit. Or is it disassemble to paint, stain or decorate, then reassemble to create one of a kind shapes, patterns, and prints. I bet you Rachel would love to do that. And we can hang that up on our patio. Okay, this guy is just too adorable to leave behind, even though he originally came from Walmart. I see it there. Don't tell me in the comments, hey, he was only five bucks at Walmart. It's okay, because you know what? He is $3 for me to buy today. And if he's not worth more than $12 to $15, I'll give him away in a live sale. So you have to remember in reselling that not everybody has the big box stores. Not everybody wants to go to the big box stores and the big box stores don't carry merchandise indefinitely. So things that were once there are no longer available have really good value for resale. I see a pig. I see a pig. I see spots. He's wood. He's large. <laughs> Very large. He's handmade. I kind of like him. Ugh, is he missing? He's missing an ear. Ah. Now he's missing another ear. Okay, don't worry, I put his ear back on. All right, lots of electronical stuff and things that plug in and batteries and all. I don't deal with that stuff. I just don't, it doesn't make me happy. And uh, it has a potential to come back because a lot of times, and here's the key if you sell this stuff, a lot of times people are buying a replacement and unfortunately, there are unscrupulous people in this world who will send you back their dud and keep the one that you sold them. And if you are a seller of that kind of item, there are ways to protect yourself. Get yourself some, uh, either some stickers that go over like a battery compartment or some kind of identification that if they want to return it, it has to have your identifier on it such as invisible ink. There are invisible ink pens out there, so a customer won't know that there's something on there. Um, but if you get it back and it doesn't have your mark, then you can state you did not get back the item. But it's tougher and tougher to get those claims taken care of by eBay. So you still just have to be aware you're gonna probably take a hit on returns if you sell that kind of stuff. So I did find this baggie that's got some interesting items in it, including there's that little, what's that little baby doll there? There is a, a black Americana salt and pepper shaker made in Japan. You got those are tricky to list on eBay now as well. Um, and then the little miniature Coca-Cola with the straw. So for $5 minus 40, 40, I see I'm stuck on Goodwill days. Uh, minus 25%, which would be like four bucks. I'm gonna pick that all up. Oh yeah, there's that little, look at that little tea set diorama in there too. I don't know if you can see that, but cute, cute stuff. This stuff will, is the type of stuff that'll end up in my live sale. And let's see what we have on the kitcheny stuff. That is lead crystal. You can tell, I'm looking to see if it has a name anywhere on it don't believe it does and they do want $20 for that one very pretty though let's see what you are a little art pottery little studio piece creamer pretty but yeah I see those quite often so it doesn't doesn't scream by me by me I do like the basket weave on this bowl here hmm mushroom top Mushroom top? Yeah, it's time for me to get back to that project. But I'm not going to buy that one just because I've got to get out what I already have and deal with that first. 
before I go shopping for any more mushroom pieces. And for those wondering, if you're new to my videos, I am doing a mushroom project, making some lights in the backyard out of pieces of glass and vases. See, those would be cute too. Oh, and look what I spotted. More of the little red bow Christmas plates. And I think I will pick these up for Tiffany as well. She has a customer who is on the hunt for these. Okay, let's see. What are you? Pat. Ooh, that's a nice, I mean, it's simple, but it's really nice and rustic looking. I really like that. I don't like that the hooks don't match though. I just noticed that. Two completely different hook setups. So it looks like one has been replaced. So we're gonna leave it. And let's see what else we have here. It's a very, very pretty set. Almost has like an Amari color going for it. It's Crown Ming Fine China. See, there's the mark there, the Regent Collection. Pretty, but not, not something that I want to pick up and deal with. So we will leave that. Oh, let's see, I have my black light in my pocket. Let's see if anything under here has a glow to it. Nope. None of this. We got a sugar skull. That one's been repaired. That's made in Italy. Doesn't really do much for me. All right, let's see. Nibbles. Nibbles. <laughs> That's a really, really cute chip and dip. The Old Pottery Company. You know what? I've picked up other things by the Old Pottery Company that have been quite good, so. I, I don't, this kind of grabbed an emotion in me, so for $4.99, I'm going to grab it. I guess I just said grab it twice. <laughs> it grabbed me, I grabbed it. What are those stylized? Ooh, that is a brand that I've never been able to sell well. All right, I think that's it for the kitchen stuff. Let's see, we have another whole row of kitchen stuff. There's an abundance of kitchen stuff at this store. This is a really nice scripture mug, large size, made by Spectrum Designs. It is $2.99. I am going to grab that one. Lots of jars. Let's see, that's grapes on that canister. Hoping for it to be something unique and interesting and appealing and emotion provoking. It's kind of the things I'm looking for. Let's see. Like I like the color blue on this and I thought maybe it was birds, but I think they are. They're just very stylized. Hard to see. And if they're hard to see in the for the naked eye, they're going to be really hard to see for somebody just looking at a picture taken by a camera too. That is my opinion. It's not impossible, just more difficult. And I'm always looking to make life easier. I think this is glass fake. I can't even read what that one's. See, I know this one is glass fake. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, there's glass fake. This is another interesting mug, super, super big mug with the feathers on it. Just needs a little cleaning. It says, some days I am a princess, some days I am a warrior. Choose wisely. It's made by, oh, it's Boston Warehouse, which is also another good brand. So we are going to pick that up. Okay. These are all very, very snugly put together on an end cap, so <coughs> gotta be very careful how you grab one out of here. Oh, let's see if there's anything else. 
that's super cool. I don't think so. All right, we've got some clear glass over on an end cap here. Let's see if anything kind of stands out. I don't think so today. And I'm thinking once again, I'm going to need to find some soft stuff to put in this cart because the glass is just calling to me. Look at these. Pretty sure these are either Pier One, Crate and Barrel, one of those high-end um, companies that make the swirling glassware. And there are two, four, there's six of them. Oh, my favorite number to find in glasses. I'm going to grab those. I really feel like Carrie will like this glass. She sells a lot of bar items at the booth and it's half price. So this one's a dollar seventy-five. I think I'm gonna put that in the cart and give it to her. Alright, I'm on a roll now. Loading the glass in the cart. Ooh, look at those with the red and green kind of twisties in the stems. And there's two of those. I wish there was four. Is there any more? I don't see any more, but we're going to get those two. All right, let's see. Whoops, something else just caught my eye. Look at these. Look at the stems on those. There's three of them. Don't have a name. But so what I can tell by picking these up and feeling them, because you know, I, it, it's all about the touch too. They are very delicate, lightweight, and yet there's some substance to the stem so that you've got balance and which is something you want, oops, in a wine glass. Um, tinging it, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna knock it over. Tinging it doesn't really tell you a whole lot except it's a nice pleasant sound. And if you ting it, you can tell if it's got a crack because it's gonna thud instead of ting. Um, this also here is an optic effect in the bowl of the glass and that's a little harder to do than just you know your average glass oh oh happy day oh not only that happy happy day there are eight of them i'm picking them all up all right i guess i need to start getting some glasses listed because i have a backlog of them now but I'm super excited about the glasses I've been finding lately. And you know, you know I love when I find a set of these because they consistently sell even though they're really easy to find out in the wild. So I'm going to grab all four of those too. That's a really pretty piece with Easter just around the corner. Oh, it's a blue sky. Huh, even better. I don't see any damage. Oh, spoke too soon. See if we can focus. Yep, yeah, it's got a big chip. Well, that, that's a bummer. That was a really pretty piece. All right, a quick glance through the plates and the bowls just to see if there's anything super exciting in here. And the color of these is kind of calling me, but now I feel them and they feel, yeah, they're Libby, they're newer. You can just tell when you get your hands on them. So we're going to leave those. All right. Well, now we're looking at the soft stuff because I need to find a few soft things to mix in here. Let's see who makes you your polyester. I see the 100% polyester on this. I'm trying to figure out if it's a table. I think it is a little like a card table size tablecloth with these really pretty flowers. How much are you? I like you. You are $4.99. I'm gonna get that. Look at these really sweet napkins. It's like an airbrushed tulip on there with a dusty rose pink. There are four of them for $3, but again, I get 25% off of that, so I'm gonna grab those as well. So I found this really nice round embroidered tablecloth also for $4.99 so I am gonna grab that too this is just sitting back here all on its little lonesome and I'm not exactly sure why that'll clean up it's got a little 
little indentation, you know, you can, oh, come on, hands work. But nothing, nothing that major. And as adorable as that is for $4.99, I'm grabbing it. All right, here's my cart full. Oh, Terry's got a little cart full. And uh, this is what we're going home with. I got to go. Yes, I did find a pair of shoes for myself. But there we go. It's another glass day again. So stay tuned for the recap where I'll tell you what I bought, how much I paid, and most of all, how much it's worth. Stay tuned. a lot of glass <laughs> this is a this is a glass week but how do you pass by sets like that I you should have seen uh, Mikey and uh, Carrie's face when they saw me pulling all that okay. glass out. let me show you what it what my face looked like <laughs> oh, no. oh but that glass is money it's money 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 I can't mm -hmm. leave it behind and art, lots of art, not all old art, some contemporary art, but boy, pulls the heartstrings art. So 
fun trip, make sure uh, you go over and check out the restream of the live that Mikey Bags of Money was shooting because there's some really funny moments in there. <laughs> yes, you just got to go watch. Um, Carrie shopped with them. I was there multiple times. You, were there you know, multiple, multiple times. times. So uh, if multiple. you want to see a little behind the scenes mm -hmm. action, head on over there. It was extra cheesy. Extra, oh, that. extra cheesy for <laughs> sure. <laughs> so we're heading over to the Schnitz right now. Schnitz. The Schnitz. We're going to get a little wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Yes, for those wondering what I'm talking about. Because that's how you reward yourself after a fantastic day of shopping, right? All right, we're heading over there now. You, go be profitable and make, make it, it fun. fun.